Well, Charles, let's start with you with uh, one of the biggest features inside Mathematica 9, social network analysis. Tell us about it. Thank you, Zach. Well, I'm going to give an overview of social network analysis in Mathematica 9. So as you all know, you know, network are all around us, especially social network, you know, which is made of you know, a set of actors we tie between them. By actors, I mean you know, individuals like you and me, you know, which are connected to friendship or you know, organizations which are connected to you know, business transactions or such a thing. So finding important people in those networks, like in your professional network, or finding communities or cliques in your Facebook network are uh, example of type of analysis you can do on social networks. So build on the strong Mathematica graph capability, Mathematica 9 allow us to actually model analyze networks. So in the next couple of slides, I will try to give you an overview and the, you know, the general idea behind the design we have for social network, as well as all the power and feature we actually offer to you to play with. So first of all, I will show you how to access data. So I will talk about social network data, Facebook connectivity and other type of connectivity. And then next, I will you know, look at the analysis side and first talk about you know, centrality, prestige, and role, which is at the actor level. And next, at the group level, I will talk about community detection, so how to find out community and find clicks and other features. And then I will end up with, you know, looking at uh, assortativity and uh, clustering, which is at the network level. There is plenty more feature, actually, you know, I will not cover here, but I will at the end kind of point you to the resources which are available in Mathematica and through, the, through our website. So let's first start of how to build a network, how to access data in Mathematica, your network. So if you're coming from a theoretical background, first of all, we like to actually build network and simulate networks. So we kind of offer you different type of network, you know, scale-free network, small world network, which are coming from the Barabasi Albert model and the other one, the Wastrogas models. Uh, and, you know, these are already available in version eight. And what we did in version nine is that we enhanced those you know, those graphs in terms of performance and actually scale, how they scale in terms of memory and size. So also what we did is that we extended our collection of empirical networks and we included some standard networks such as the Southern you know, Women Club network, which is kind of one of the first data sets collected by David and colleagues in the 1930s for the first, you know, at the you know, early stage of you know, network analysis, social network analysis. So here you can just evaluate it in Mathematica and you get the network, which is actually a two-modal network where you have you know, the 14 women there and then you have the corresponding event, eight event on the right side, right hand side. So the other side also we have in Mathematica is that you can import your data. You know, when you do your, your research, you collect data, you, know, you can collect it in Excel or you can have it in a, you know, in, CSV file, you know, tabulated data, you can import it in Mathematica already. But what we did is that we added actually specific file format or data format for graphs. So you can import them in Mathematica quite easily. So here you can, you know, gener you know import a GraphML file. And also you can actually export it to other data formats like project here. If your colleague, you know, have project and want to play with your data set, you can actually just do your work in Mathematica and export it and you know, distribute it to, to your user. So one of the new features actually in version nine in terms of social network access to the data is that we introduce a new packlet we call social media data, which allow you to actually access the different social media we have around there. So Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google Plus are the first few we, you know, we introduce in this version. And this is a packet, so it's load on demand, and you know, maybe in the next couple of months or so, you'll see more you know, social media supported. So I will just try to give you a brief demonstration of how it works. You know, my colleague Andy will, was you know, nice enough to let me you know, use his account. He has a much nicer social media network. So first of all, if you 
you do social media, Facebook property, you will get the list of property we actually provide you. So it's an interface to your data directly. You can export your image as well as any, any, any other posts you actually make on Facebook. Or you can directly look at you know, the list of your friends, you know, which is an extensive list here for, you know, for Mindy. You get it in, you know, directly and then just use Mathematica to get the list of the friend. And if you come directly to the social network side, you can actually look at your friend networks. And there we have Andy friend network. I will just make it slightly larger. So this is a pretty nice network. You know, we kind of try to actually you know, give more information visually, except besides just the layout, kind of provide you, you know, more information by just looking at the network. So for example, this network has different color, which probably Andy can tell us more. You know, there are probably different communities you can recognize here. Do you recognize, for example, this community in orange? Read me a name because I am having trouble seeing your screen. Oh, that's Campbell, Clint Campbell. Oh, right. So the, I was actually a teacher at one point, and that's a group of students that I used to have. I see. Uh, so each of these clusters, I've looked at this several times, they sort of represent uh, critical points in my life. So the orange area is uh, people that I taught with or worked with when I was a teacher. And the sort of circle above in red oh. are people that I went to high school with. Okay. Over there to the left would be, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, so this would be like my elementary school years. And the big red dot in the middle is my wife, who is kind of who I'm connected to everyone through. Okay. Oh, thank you. So as you see, we actually kind of provide more additional information, not just the layout in, in, um, you know, in the output. And this graph is, you know, this network is actually an object in Mathematica. You can directly just, you know, operate on it. And then, you, you know, it behaves like any other object in Mathematica and it just works. Okay, so the other social media data we actually have, our social site we actually introduce here is actually Twitter. So Twitter is also identical to Facebook. We try to make the interface uniform and you know, standard to our data packet. So you know, feel free to go and you know, look at the collection of data we have for Twitter and you know, look at your friend network or flower networks. Okay, before I actually look at the analysis now, I will just kind of point out what I just you know, said is that you know, the network in Mathematica actually display like a, graph, a graphic and it actually have the whole full power of our graphic. That means you know, automation and you know, algorithmic aesthetic, you know, aesthetic methods as well as you know, information visualization. You can highlight you know, nodes or actors or part of the group and do labeling. So this is just a basic example. So this was the original Andy networks. So I can take it and then just do a community plot, which is a new function in Mathematica, which actually compute those communities explicitly now and put a lasso around it. And then you can actually see those community we had earlier up there you know, with different color, but now the layout is also modified. So that's actually more information now based on layout. Okay. So this is kind of the aspect of you know, how to get the data. So we have a lot of functionality there, import and you know, direct access to social media. So now let's look at you know, the, analysis, you know, the analytic part. So as I say, we have roughly three levels. You know, the actor level, where you, you, know, you study people, the group level by group, and then the network level. So at the level of the actor, so essentially the measure we provide are centrality and prestige measure. And you can use them to actually analyze your network and detect role for, for people. So what we provide you is you know, about eight centrality measures. Several of them are already in version nine, version eight. We actually enhance them in version nine. We make them more faster and more efficient, actually, in terms of memory as well as scale two. And we introduce new ones as statue centrality and radial centrality, radiality centralities. And here I will actually show you one nice example, which is about the Medici family. You know, as you all know, the Medici family, you know, didn't have, you know, a great amount of money and, you know, a lot of seat in the, you know, legislature in the 14, you know, as if, you know, Florentine families at the time. 
But always in history, we know that they are kind of important. So one tool to actually figure out why in history, you know, the Medici family was actually so important is to look at the marriage network and apply social analysis to it. So when you actually do that, here we actually provide, you know, already the data set. So when you do that and then actually look at the betweenness centrality, which kind of give you or kind of, you know, rank people or actor in the network based on the way they connect. So here it actually shows you that the Medici come first, are ranked first in terms of betweenness centrality. That means if there is an information which has to be transmitted between those families, you know, based on their marriage, they actually have, you know, access to those type of information which allow them to actually, you know, good in breaking deals and doing other things. So you can also look, for example, at the closeness centrality related to them. So how close are they to other families? And you can see also that the Medici is coming first. So that means also they are more close to other families in, you know, 14th century Florentine families. So this is a nice way to actually apply social network to analyze and understand why, you know, something happened in history and how they were some family have certain positions. So this is a, the level of the actor. So now let's look at the group level. So at the group level, we provided a collection of cohesive groups as well as you know, community detections. So by, you know, one of the example of those groups are cliques, you know, a group of, a subgroup of people who are, which are all connected together. So you can use the function find click in Mathematica to get it, it's quite efficient and really fast. In this example below, I, you know, we take, for example, the 2010 National Hockey League game. And, you know, there is game between all the, you know, all the team. And then you can just wonder, okay, what are the different divisions here? So if you use community graph plot, you know, in a second, you can actually detect the, commu you know, the community and see the divisions in your graph, in your social network. Sorry. So this is actually one of the aspect and application of you know, community detections. So now let's go to the you know, network level. So now I will just talk about assortativity, mixing, as well as you know, uh, homophily. Homophily, which is a tendency of people of the same characteristic to connect together. So in this example, I have a social network of friendship in high school. So you can ask, you know, how people in, the, you know, in that high school are connected together. So if you use graph assortativity, you get a positive number, a number. So usually the assortativity mixing gives you a number between minus one and one. And when that number is positive, that means people with that same characteristic tend to you know, connect together. So this value just tells you that peop, you know, popular kid in high school connect to popular kid in high school. So highly social, you connect to people which are highly social. So, and now, you know, besides just looking at it, can you, you know, you can ask a question like, you know, from this network, can you figure out if people from, you know, with the same race are connected together? So you can do that in one line. You do graph assortativity, and then you just put a second argument race, and then you compute it. So this is still a positive number, which tell you that, you know, people of the same race connect together, but it's kind of slightly smaller than the previous value. So, you know, higher, you know. Popular kids tend to connect with more popular kids. Race is slightly lower. So this is kind of a glimpse of what we have you know, in version 9. You know, there is several more functionality as clustering, statistical analysis. Um, you know, I will not present here, but you know, feel free to ask me questions later on. You know. But before I close, I will first you know, try to give you a, you know, a set of points where you can actually go and you know, get more information about our functionality. So we have our documentation, which is both in product and online. So you can click on, you know, look at the social network guide pages, which kind of give you the structure and the general idea of how people do social network analysis, as well as the functionality, including also some other feature, you know, I'm not talking about here, which is, you know, statistical analysis, an aspect of that. And you have also graph and network. So if you are you know, in the pure theoretical side and you want to actually see the graphs which actually represent your network and, you know, play with it, you can actually do that. And also there is, you know, quite interesting example in our guide page, in our marketing page, where you can actually go and, you know, look at those examples. So for example here, you know, this is a short study of the, you know, social media slash dot, you know, which have a community. You can import the data, you know, 
look at you know, some statistical information about it, and study the degree distribution and see how people connect there and exchange information. So these are you know, a good set of you know, examples to actually show you how the functionality is available. Zach, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, no, there's some great examples there. And a few follow-up questions for you. Do we plan on supporting other social media sites? Um, yes. So, you know, has the demand come and how, you know, has, you know, we found, you know, people found how, you know, those, you know, if some of those sites are really interesting, you know, we'd be happy to actually provide those sites. As I said before, you know, our social media data is a packlet, so we can actually push it, you know, live in a couple of day, new sites and such a thing. So, you know, if you have favorite website, you know, social sites, so feel free to you know, let us know, Auntie. Yeah, we're always wanting to hear feedback. So if there's a site that we don't currently support and you want us to uh, look into it, give us the feedback. We would love to hear uh, what our Mathematica users would love to uh, try out our, our data on as well. Uh, one more question, a very important question for many users. Are personal Facebook data and passwords stored in Mathematica? Um, no. So essentially, we don't store any data, and it's just per session. So that means the data you download or you, you, know, you have in Mathematica reside on that session and reside in memory. So if you quit Mathematica, the data is done. It's gone. So we don't store anything. We have no information. Fantastic. And like Charles said, if you want to learn more about the social media data and about the social network analysis, head to the Documentation Center or head to wolfram.com slash Mathematica.